In this video, I'm going to be going over Roblox trading terms explain. I'm going to be explaining to you guys some trading terms you guys need to know, especially if you are new to Roblox trading. You guys are probably seeing all these people in trade hangouts say all these random terms. And you're like, what does this mean? What does that mean? And this is mainly for my Discord server as well, because I know a lot of you guys are new traders in the Discord server. So I want to go ahead and help you guys out with this video. If you guys aren't in the Discord server, it's completely free. All Roblox traders need to be in it. Link will be in the description. You get free trading help. We just hired 12 trade helpers to help you guys out with your trades yesterday. And we have many more on the way. So make sure you guys join. It is absolutely free. Great trading community. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into the first term. So that will be W slash L, aka win or loss. Um, you see this a lot in discord where people will send a picture of their trade which is what i recommend you guys doing and they'll say win or loss so it just basically means win or loss it's very self-explanatory and then you have a slash c which is just accept or counter and you see this everywhere discord trade hangout it just means accept or counter so you accept the trade or you counter the trade if you don't know you can counter trades on roblox that you have inbound the next one will be upgrade and downgrade now this is one that kind of trips up a lot of traders a lot of people think that upgrade is just getting a win and a lot of people think that downgrade is just when you take a loss now that's simply just not what it means i will show you guys an example of a upgrade right here so basically upgrade is when you turn multiple items into fewer amount of items if that makes any sense so you guys can see here this person here i'm just saying this random trade gave four items and they got two items so that'd be an upgrade because you're taking the four items and you're turning it into two. You gave three items and you turn it into one or you take three items, you turn it into two, kind of like that, right? That's basically an upgrade. It's basically think about it like you have like four Lego pieces, you merge it into one. That's basically what an upgrade is, something along those lines. Now, a downgrade is literally just the opposite of that. So I'll pull up a downgrade here. For example, this would be a downgrade if they accept this trade where they turn that one item and they split it back into those multiple pieces as I was talking about. And you guys are probably going to be like, well, you know, if the point is just to merge them all in one, what's the point of splitting them up again? Uh, we can always help you guys out on the Discord server with these explanations, but to keep it short and quick, usually when you split it back into multiple pieces, you get an, what's called an overpay. It's where you get more than what the item's worth. So that's kind of where all the profit is made usually obviously there's a lot more that goes into it which is why i highly recommend you guys join the discord server completely free the best roblox trading discord server i mean that and the next one we have here is a low ball so low ball is very simple um basically let's say i was trading a dominus prefectus so this dominus prefectus is 380 000 value right now if someone sent me a trade and it was only 370,000 value that is less than 380,000 value that is what we consider a low ball it's just basically when you lowball someone, you try to undercut their item from what it's actually worth. Pretty self-explanatory. And now we're going to get into the mass upgrade and downgrade. So this isn't a term that a lot of people talk about, but it's very important to know because you guys will probably do it maybe once or twice in your trading careers, maybe more, depending on what type of trader you are. So basically a mass is when you turn a lot, a lot of items into like one item, or you take one item into a lot, a lot, a lot of items, aka mass downgrade, mass upgrade. Now this is usually done through multiple trades. So you see with this trade, with this person, uh, I believe we were getting this purple. Yeah, we're getting this purple butterfly thing. Now, this may seem like a gigantic loss, but obviously that's why it's called a mass because there's multiple trades involved. So I gave these four spike bags for this purple butterfly. But then as you guys can see here, I just kept giving more and more spike bags um, until obviously it reached the value of the purple butterfly. The catch with this is usually when you do mass upgrades or downgrades, well, let's say mass upgrades, right? You usually have to give a little more just because you are over here, you know, doing multiple trades. Obviously it's a lot more work and stuff. So let's say your Dominus is 400,000 value, right? And let's say if it's just one trade, you can get 420,000 value. But if you were to mass downgrade it, so for multiple, multiple trades, multiple items, just like this, then you would probably ask for like maybe 440,000 instead of 420,000 or 450,000, right? So you do have to pay like a premium if that makes any sense, but you can get your desired item faster without having going through the trouble of upgrading all these like i don't know 30 spike ball bags into one item just so you could trade it for the dominus if that makes any sense and then mass upgrade is basically what you guys are seeing on the screen right now where uh, i went ahead and just sent all my gucci spike ball bags uh, mainly for this purple butterfly it's what we call a mass it's just basically where a lot of trades are involved you most likely won't do that until you're well off into your trading career so you don't have to worry about that when you just start out now we have LPP. Now LPP can mean a variety of things. Um, it can mean someone got into your account and just sold all your items for one Robux or LPP could just mean when someone kills the wrap of an item. So let's take this Gucci spike basketball bag, for example. All right, let's say I sold it. I sold like 20 of these for one Robux. The recent average selling price, it looks like this 
all right the next dot would be down here that's what we call an lpp it's basically when you're selling an item for less than what it's worth so let's say i know i can sell this for 900 robux but i list it for 400 robux just so yeah, i don't know maybe because it's like a hacked item or something and then that's basically an lpp then the wrap will shoot down and it kind of just messes up the item for like a few days now the next term we have here is beam or comped now when someone gets beamed it means that they fell for like some type of like cookie logger you guys know the roblox api scam is a very popular one uh, i got a lot of dms about that one uh, or like the avatar like make you a free gfx don't believe any of those by the way but if you do fall for one of those that's what we call a beamed like you got beamed if you hear anyone say that it basically means that they just fell for like a scam or a hack and they lost all their limiteds now comp is when someone just hacks into your account so maybe they you know compromise your email or something they got past the two-step or i don't know how they do it they just somehow hack into your account and whatever method they have that's what we call a compromise they kind of just mean the same thing pretty much you don't need to overcomplicate it and the very last one is usd or usd or usding if you hear anyone say like oh i'm going to usd or you know you should usd you know something with usd it just means to sell your items for real life money or to sell your robux for real life money stuff like that. Now, I know that it is against TOS to USD, and I think that is a very, very stupid rule. I think, you know, it's your items. Whatever you want to do with your items should be your choice, especially I know some people who cash out and it's like they need the money. You know what I'm saying? Like the family isn't in a good financial spot. They really need the money. Like you think if your family's struggling, okay, your family's struggling out here, you think that if you have like, I don't know, $3,000 in Roblox items, you're not going to sell that to help your family. Like it's, it's absolutely stupid. I don't know what they're thinking with this rule, but I mean, I get the rule. It's probably to like prevent scams and stuff. Anyway, that, that's just what USD means. If we get 200 likes on this video, I will make a part two where I get into the more complicated terms, like lowering, raising, proofing, you know, all those complicated item terms that holy mons or whatever Roblox items have. I'll go to make another video on that. But remember, guys, if you guys want some free trading help, all right, completely free, it's an absolute jumpstart. I wish I had this server when I first started trading. That's why I made it so I can help new traders. We can all help new traders as a community. The link will be down below in the description. You guys can send in your trades, get free trade help for it. It's absolutely amazing. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for more content like this and comment down below some video ideas. I'm always looking for them and I would really, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. God loves you all. Peace out.